Good morning, students and staff. It's Tuesday, the 18th of April, and time for the WBDQ Top Dog News. Coming to you from the Media Center. Have, Have you stopped, stopped your work to listen? listen? Reporting for today are Avery and Gabe. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Finally. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's time for our school announcements. Are you listening? When I say peanut butter, you say jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. Who is, who is celebrating a birthday today? No one. Aww. Aww. One, two, three. Happy, Happy no birthday. How does the weather look for the rest of the week? Today will be in the upper 70s and it will be in the 80s the rest of the week. There is no rain in the forecast. Do we have any guests today? Yes, please welcome Miss Melvin. Good morning. How are you, Gabe? Good. You? I'm doing great. Thank you. We do have a couple guests with us today. We have two fourth graders I'd like to recognize for the month of April. They'll be the first students that we recognize for this month, and the character word is fairness. If I can have, let's start with Brandon. Come over, Brandon. Here's your certificate and your ribbon. And Brandon shows fairness at school by treating everyone in class and out of class fairly. He treats his peers equally, no matter if they are different or learn different from him. He is patient with students with disabilities, and he's always willing to include these students into groups or games. He's always willing to help adults and willing to help the younger students in our school as well. He loves to greet peers and adults and always goes out of the way to make someone feel special by just saying hello to them. So thank you, Brandon, for all that you do. We also have Emily's in fourth grade. There you go. And Emily is a cheerful and sweet young lady. She always treats others equally. She makes decisions without playing favorites and doesn't take advantage of others. She doesn't blame others carelessly and is always willing to find a solution to help solve any issues. You can find Emily is always playing fairly, sharing, and taking turns with peers outside and inside the classroom. Emily's is always reaching out to help around the classroom and to help her peers. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Y'all have a great rest of the day. One last announcement I have. You know, it is beautiful. It has been beautiful weather. continues to be beautiful weather. So I want to just mention a little bit about the dress code. Just, just a, a few reminders. Remember, no spaghetti straps or no midriffs. So we don't want anybody's stomach showing. So make sure no stomachs are showing. And any shorts or skirts, they do need to be mid, mid thigh. So make sure that they are, um, they're not too short. And that's all I have for today. So I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching and remember the three B's. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be safe. Make it a great BBQ day. We'll see you all tomorrow in Top Dog News.